Hey everyone, do you like new morphic design and want to add this to your game? If yes, then this is the video that you need. The size of the button is totally customizable and you can use it in any of your project. So let's quickly see what we are going to do. To create a new morphic design, the color of the button must be the same as the background. Then we will add a shadow of slightly darker color in the bottom right direction and a shadow of slightly lighter color in the top left direction. And this will add a 3D effect to our button. Now when we are pressing the button, we are going to switch the shadow colors. That means the lighter color comes down and the darker one goes up. And we also slightly reduce the color of the button as well. And that's the whole thing we are going to do in this video. First, I will select the button as the root node of the scene. Now since we can only set the shadow color in one direction, we have to use two buttons to do the trick. So add one more button under it and set its layout to full rect. Now I will use the button in the behind to show the lighter shadow and the button in the front to show the darker shadow. So select the button in the behind and in the inspector you will find theme override option. Then inside it you have the style and inside the style you can specify how your button will look in different situations. So first coming to normal style select the style box flat. Now inside it first click on the button and we will make it transparent because we are only going to use this button for shadows. Now to make edges smooth, I will set the corner radius to 5 in all the direction. Then coming to shadows, first we are going to set the shadow color to white. After that, the size determine the blur amount and for me, 3 work best. Then for the offset, I will set it to negative 2 in X and Y. And now you can see the shadow in the top left direction of the button. Now I am going to copy these settings and paste it in hover style. Now for prestige style, most of the settings are going to be same. So I will paste this setting here as well and then I will make this style unique. So that I can make some changes. Now here we just have to change the shadow color to a darker color. So I will write 200 in R, G and B values. Now for focus and disable style, just set these two style box empty. Which means we don't want any style in this situation. And that's it for the background button. Now select the foreground button. And again most of the style is going to be the same. So I will just paste the setting from the background button and make it unique. Now first set the button color same as the background color. In my case it is 245 in R, G and B. And also remove the transparency. Now just go to shadows. And for the color we are going to set it to the darker color. So I will write 200 in R, G and B. And for the offset this time it will be positive 2 in X and Y. Now again we will just copy this setting and paste it in both hover and press style as well. Now make the press style unique to make some changes. And inside this we first set the shadow color to complete white. And then we will also set the button color to a little darker shade from our background. So I will put 225 in R, G and B values. And finally. Similar to our background button, we will again set style box empty in focus and disable style. Now you just have to make sure that the mouse filter is set to pass. So the button which we use for the background will also get clicked. And we are done with the button. You can now use this button in any of your scene. To show you, I have created this scene with a color rack as the background. Now simply add the button in this scene and now you can resize this button or place it wherever you like. You can play the scene and you will see the button is working fine. Now there is just one problem with the button. You see in your scene when you write some text on the button, it will not appear on the button because you are actually writing the text on the background button. So to solve this, come to your button scene and assign a script to it. And in the ready function, simply set the text of the foreground button from the background button. Although you will not see the text in the Godot editor. But when you play the game, the text will be set to the foreground button. And you can adjust the button size while keeping this window open. And that's it for this video. I hope you find something new in this one. If you found this video interesting, then check out my channel for more amazing videos. So like this video and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next one.